Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new series on my channel. I'm creating a new series on my channel. Well, of course it's new. I'm new. Called Empties. If you, if you love those videos, let me know down below. I personally love those videos. I personally love Empties videos. I love to see, you know, it's basically what's in your trash, what you've used up. In 2020, I had a goal of using up 20 items every month. So with this series, I will film every two months and that way you can know what I've used up, you know, body, hair, skin, makeup, the whole works, not just makeup. Toothpaste, everything. If you like this style of video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, are you doing an empties collection? I think it's really helpful that we see how many products you use up as well. Let's go ahead and get started. First item is from Kirkland's. That's a body wash. You know, typical body wash. My husband loves Kirkland's. He will go twice a week if you're my friend you know my husband loves Kirkland's so he loves we would love to buy in bulk in our house even before the pandemic we would buy in bulk so used up a body wash another body wash I really really love this scent oh it smells so good it is orchard and black orchard and black currant I highly recommend this one this other one is just I would use it like if I would wake up go work out I know that's weird to shower before you go work out but I do <laughs> I shower like two three times a day shampoo the matrix brass off I used to really like this one and then it started to turn my hair purple if you leave it too long and I went blonder that's even a word so I found another shampoo that I really really love so I was great that I used this up but I do have one more shampoo and conditioner from this line that I need to use up. But I, I like to use those, you know, when I'm not going anywhere where I don't have to fix my hair. Like if I'm going to work all week, I just wash it and I'm going to be pitting up my hair. It doesn't really matter. If... Toothpaste with scope. Peter Thomas Ross Mask Complexion Correcting Pads. I really love this. I struggle with acne. Um, I used to when I was younger and then I didn't, you know, with the occasional hormonal breakout and once we started wearing masks I did struggle from acne so these really helped they started to get dry so I wanted to make sure I used them up but I would repurchase these only Peter Thomas Roth isn't cruelty free I didn't know that when I purchased them I did also get these from a 21 days of beauty so I got these half off I do recommend wet and wild cucumber setting spray this is great for before, during, after. I like to use setting spray after I powder my face and at the very end. And you can use this before as a primer as well. And it still smells like coconuts. If you love coconut, I do recommend this one. I used up a perfume. It's rare that I use up a perfume. The Versace Bright Crystals. Oh, it smells so good. There's nothing in here. Smells good. Definitely recommend this one. A Becca Hydra Mist, and I kept track of how much I used it. It has a little sifter. I ended up having to pull it out, so I am gonna keep this in case I need it for anything. But I do recommend this one. It is very cooling, but the cooling doesn't last, so I needed to use it up. Jillip Hydrating Cleansing Oil, and I did keep track. I do really like this one. I won a giveaway and I won this. I was grateful for that. Along with a few other things from Julep. And I do highly recommend a cleansing oil. If you don't have one, you should definitely get one. I do definitely recommend you getting one. Double cleansing is so important. A vitamin C serum. I got this one from BoxyCharm. This one, I didn't see too much of a difference. It was just okay. Has a little dropper. I think it's valued pretty high. Um, I did make a, one mark on it, but I just didn't see a significant difference to repurchase it. So I was grateful to get it from BoxyCharm, but I'm glad I used it up. A baby lips. These are such a classic. This is just the mint. Use that one up. A Dermalogica multi-active toner. These are great. I do recommend these. These They do have larger sizes. This is just a travel size. A Dermalogica Resurfacing Cleanser, part of their Age Smart line. I didn't really see too much of a difference, but it's a creamy face wash, and I personally don't like those, so I just wanted to use this one up. Antioxidant Hydra Mist. I love this. Highly recommend. Just another classic strawberry 
Chapstick. An It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Cleanser. Or Confidence in a Cleanser. I really love this one. I really love the It Cosmetics Confidence in a whatever line. Um, they have a neck, a confidence in a cream, confidence in an eye cream. This is very gentle, perfect for winter, perfect for dry skin. Perfect for all types of skin as well. So, highly, highly recommend this one. A Tarte Marine Boost. I would use this before my makeup. I do love this one. I did get this in a travel kit. Glam Glow Face Mask. I do cut in so you can get every scoop in there. What I do have is, a, I believe it's called a spatty. I will put a picture up here. They're great for project panners. You can scoop every last bit of anything, especially something like this. I used to always have nails, so I didn't want to stick my finger in there, but they're great. This eye cream from Drunk Elephant. This one I noticed it peeled up on me, so I would, you know, I'm not wearing foundation all the time on my face, just right here, so I would use it at night and um, during the day when I would go to work, but I wasn't wearing full face. I would just wear this part, and I don't recommend this one. Two moisturizers from Belief. One is an aqua bomb and one is a moisturizing bomb. I, I love these. These are fantastic. I didn't want to use them up because I was like, I love them so much, but I have them in my collection. They're going to get old, so I need to get out of that mindset. And Project Panning helps me. Highly, highly recommend these. I have had a full size in the past, and I went through it, of course. These are great. And then a few samples. Makeup wipes. I no longer like to purchase makeup wipes. They aren't environmentally friendly, so I'm just using what I have. Um, I would buy in stock at Costco and I just I don't personally like them I will use what I have I've used everything up from Costco with the exception of one and then if I get in BoxyCharm I will use them up but I will no longer purchase makeup wipes but if you're looking these are great I recommend them but they're just not for me this, this hair mask oh my gosh beautiful I'm buying full size It made my ends. Oh, my hair is a little frizzy. I didn't notice any damage on my ends with this one. You just leave it on three to five minutes in the shower, shave your legs, brush your teeth, you know, wash your body. And I highly recommend this one. I'm going to go hopefully tomorrow and buy either if they have a full size or if they have these packs, I will buy whatever I can. Just these two Ula Hendrickson Sheer Perfecting Moisturizers. Or sheer transforming moisturizers. I do like this one. It's very lightweight. It's great for oily skin. An invigorating night gel. I highly recommend this one, but not every night. I used to have a large one. I used it up and I do love it. This Too Faced Prime and Poreless. I really enjoyed this. I'm thinking of if they have a travel size. Not that I need any more primers, but if they have a travel size, I will try to get one. And that is all of my empties for December 2020. I used up 23 items and 5 samples. That That's a lot. Um, my goal for 2020 was 20 products every month. And I hit my goal, my last goal of 2020. And all I do is I keep it in the Bath and Body Works under my desk that I get dressed at. And I put everything in there. So if you like empties videos, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.